Hello and welcome. I will walk you very quickly through how to install Blender. There are some strange things to look out for, so make sure to watch the entire video. I will explain everything as fast as possible. The official website is blender.org. Go to that website. Now by the time that you are downloading Blender, the website might look different, but the basics are probably the same. If there is a beta link, do not use it. Use the stable version. Today it is Blender 2.79b, so press the standard download button or you can go to the download tab. This is really just for advanced people. So we're gonna hit the download button and this website doesn't show anything but at some moment it starts downloading. When the download is finished you can press the icon here or you can press the arrow and then press show in folder. In Firefox you might have to confirm the download, just press save file and then when it's done you would have to press this button and you can just open the folder or press the file itself. So if we go to the folder we just double click the file and continue with next. We have to check this mark, go to next. I suggest you keep Blender Player enabled, it only has 28 megabyte requirement, so it's fine. If you want, you can change the location of the installation, but I would advise against it. Press next, install, and wait a little. This does require administrator rights, so you will have to confirm this. And finally, you can press finish. Blender will appear as an icon on your desktop. Let's start it using this icon. And here it is. As a quick test, I would just click on the banner and try to save a file. Hit Ctrl S or go to File, Save. And for this test I would suggest you go to the desktop using this icon on the left and just keep it untitled.blend, press Save Blender file and on the desktop this file will appear. Let's close Blender and double click the file. Yeah, it seems to be working. If the file type association of blend files does not work for Blender for some reason, watch my video in which I explain how to fix that quickly. That is very important for Unity, for example, if you want to work with Blender with Unity. I hope this helped. Please subscribe to support this channel. Let me know in the comments what kind of other tutorials you would like to see. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, ciao!